cells weighing 5 tons. This copper, 8 mm in diameter, is technically known as wire rod. The first stage of the wire drawing is simply called drawing. The diameter of the wire rod is reduced to 2 mm during this process. This 2 mm wire is then drawn further to reduce the diameter of the wire to the size needed for each kind of conductor. In the last stage of wire drawing, all the wires undergo a heat treatment called annealing. The aim of this stage is to increase the ductility and conductivity of the copper. After the wire drawing, the copper wires are grouped together to make conductors. This process is called wiring. During the wiring process, conductors with different cross-sections are made. For example, a cross-section as small as 0.5 mm squared to 240 mm squared, 400 mm squared, or even higher for larger current capacities. The machine used to make the cables depends on the cross-section of each conductor. The next process in the manufacture of electrical cables is the insulation. This is when we place an insulating cover over the conductor to prevent current leakages. In this process, the insulating material is added by a process of extrusion at high temperature. The insulation ensures there are no current leakages. Several insulating materials may be used. PVC, EPR, XLPE, etc. Different insulation materials may be used depending on the characteristics of the cable required. The quality of an insulation material depends on two basic